Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Vivo V23e versus the Poco X3 Pro. And the Poco X3 Pro is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor with 8GP of RAM, while the Vivo V23e is powered by MediaTek Helio G96 processor with 8GP of RAM. On the back, we have quad cameras on the Poco, while on the Vivo, we have triple cameras. Although we have 64 megapixel main camera on the Vivo, while on the Poco we have 48 megapixel main camera, then we have 8 megapixel ultra wide, we also have a 2 megapixel macro and an additional 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back it is made up of plastic on the Poco, while on the Vivo we have glass back and the frame on both phones is made up of plastic. Also on the bottom we also have a headphone jack on the Poco X3 Pro which is not really available on the Vivo V23e. Instead in the box we also get a headphone jack adapter with the Vivo V23e. Also on the Poco X3 Pro we also have a dual speakers while on the Vivo we have a single speaker. Also the Poco has a 5160mAh battery size with a 33W fast charging while on the Vivo we have 4050mAh battery size with a 44W fast charging. And the Poco X3 Pro is a more thicker phone as compared to the Vivo V23 as well as more heavier. Also on the Poco we have side mode fingerprint scanner while on the Vivo we have in display fingerprint scanner. In this video I'm gonna show you how much a difference between the Vivo V23e versus the Poco X3 Pro in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test. So without any wasting time let's get right into it. And guys like always now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go and the logo is came up first on the Poco as compared to the Vivo. Also we have Android 11 on both phones. We have MIUI version 12.5 while on the Vivo we have Funtouch OS which is a version 12 with Android 11 not with Android 12. Let's see who is going to be the fastest one. And the Poco X3 Pro more faster when it comes to booting up and the Vivo V23e also right behind there about 1 or 2 second difference there between these two devices when it comes to booting up. Again on the Vivo we have in display fingerprint scanner. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the Vivo we have 6.4 inch Full HD AMOLED display with 60Hz refresh rate and that's really disappointing while on the Poco X3 Pro we have 6.67 inch Full HD IPS as a display although we have 120Hz refresh rate which makes everything more smoother as compared to 60Hz refresh rate. Also we have punch hole on the Poco as compared to U shape notch on the Vivo V23e. Everything is closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Now let's open phone dialer that is little more faster on the Poco X3 Pro. Again we have different animation. Now let's open settings, that is very similar. Now let's go to the display, 120Hz refresh rate versus a 60Hz on the Vivo. Now let's check out some more application. Now let's open Amazon Shopping. Again we have same Wi-Fi network. We have Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 versus a MediaTek Helio G96. Little more faster on the Poco X3 Pro. Let's see the scrolling and that is feels really really smooth on the Poco as compared to the Vivo. Again. We have 60 Hz versus 120 Hz. Now let's open Candy Crush Saga. Again, we have a flagship 860 processor. Let it move faster on the Poco. So here the Vivo speakers looks like. Only single speaker. And here's the Poco speakers. And the Poco speakers, it is much better. Now let's open Instagram. Let it move faster on the Vivo. Let's pin out. More faster on the Poco X3 Pro. Again, we have flagship level processor on the Poco. Now let's open Snapchat. That is a little more faster on the Vivo. Now let's open Spotify. That is faster on the Poco. Now let's open Subway Suffer. In the game app during time, and the Poco X3 Pro should be more faster. But let's see. A little more faster there, and you can see. Not a huge difference. Now let's open Temper and 2 and temper and to faster on the poco x3 pro in heavy games little bit more heavy games and the poco x3 pro is performing more faster x3 pro is done and uh, vivo now it is also done about two or four second difference there 
now let's open pubg mobile now let's see that which one will be more faster again we have mid attack helio g96 while on the poco we have qualcomm snapdragon 860 and the 860 it is a really powerful chipset as compared to the mid attack helio g96 huge faster on the poco x3 pro as compared to the vivo also we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate and the extreme frame rate it is also available in the hdr we even have a ultra hd with ultra frame rate on the poco while on the vivo we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate now let's opening up the tutor and that is little more faster on the vivo now let's open zedge and the zedge it is little more faster that is very similar let's see the scrolling again more smoother on the poco x3 pro huge difference between a 60 hertz and 120 hertz last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see which one will be more faster and the x3 pro more faster there as compared to the vivo also on the front we have 16 megapixel selfie camera on the poco while on the vivo we have 50 megapixel selfie camera yes and the front camera on the vivo v23e is the best in this price range very high resolution very good quality camera okay guys now let's see internet bone speed i am seeing to fall google chrome on both phones also we have same wi-fi network now let's open wikipedia and the wikipedia it is open up more faster on the poco as compared to the vivo now let's see the scrolling and again more smoother on the poco as compared to the vivo now let's open this english and that is a little more faster again on the poco x3 pro let's see the scrolling very smooth again on the poco as compared to the vivo but i would say no lag whatsoever on both phones now let's open this and that is very similar again now let's see ram management on both phones again we have 8 gp of ram now let's see that who is perform good in the ram management we have a lot of application in the background now let's open a phone dialer that is refresh let's see settings amazon shopping and that card refresh on the poco x3 pro let's see candy Crush saga again refresh on the x3 pro instagram that is seems like refresh again let's see pin out refresh on the poco let's see snapchat that is seems like refresh now let's see spotify that is seems like refresh subway suffer refresh again let's see temper and two refresh let's see pubg mobile and the pubg mobile is refresh again on the poco and the ram management it is really bad on the poco while the vivo is perform excellent in the ram management now let's open twitter that is not refresh zedge in app refresh last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and cast over have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the poco x3 pro is beating the vivo v23e in every single game application i would say that in sms application and both phones is performed very similar in terms of the ram wise and the poco x3 pro is performed really bad in the ram man as compared to the vivo v23e not a single refresh on the vivo and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the vivo v23e versus the poco x3 pro let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out